Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot <coughs> and welcome to everybody and thank you very much for your likes and shares and this is your romance reading for July now we've had a beautiful lot of reactions on the romance readings um, in June and obviously um, I'm going to go down the list again today and Gemini and Capricorn are the uh, the first two and the third that came in with uh, was Libra so it's two air signs and an earth sign uh, in c in uh, July that are the top three so here we go and first it is Gemini then it's Capricorn and then Libra so if you would like to be the first sign to be read then keep on clicking on those thumbs and leave your reactions behind if you want uh, would like a personal reading then have a look below the video and there you will find all the information or in the top right hand corner you can click on that um, circle with the eye on it okay um, I'm going to this is the we like the weekly reading but I'm going to do it for the monthly reading I'm going to start with the overall energy or the querent card and then it is week one week two week three week four and the corner cards uh, will clarify the week uh, the first week second week third week and fourth week and I've got three of my old favorites of course the romance card the surrender card that gives you advice or gives you sets you to a task of thinking food for thought what you can do and some and the answer of the angels perhaps the outcome or a, com uh, a compromise of an outcome or how you can compromise okay um, it, this is a new way for me to do the romance reading but I love the uh, weeklies and you do get a lot of answers and clarification okay so I hope you will enjoy it and thank you very much for all your likes Jemmy Jem Jims you well we have gone into cancer so the uh, overall energy for cancer is love passion um, also caring nurturing so it is also an energy of commitment because you have to commit yourself to something if you are nurturing it or taking care of it so let's get started the first of all ca the card is the querent card or the overall energy you might be seeing your boats coming in you see the boats coming in here that means that success is yours that what you've been planning will come to fruition this is the three of rods you are looking at what is coming towards you this could be love um, or this could be work something that you do love um, like I said this is the romance reading but if this was a general reading then it could be a new job abundance but in this case it could be abundance of plans that you've made with your partner if you are already hooked up um, are coming to fruition now in the first week we have the five of cups now there's two sides to each card of course you've got the negative and the positive but you've also got being single or being hooked up now if you're single then don't look at the past learn from the past take the two cups that are remaining and go forward forward okay and change the present if need be and change the future no you know what you want and you know what's coming towards you because you've been planning it the two of rods is planning it and this is the three of rods so you have changed you have taken those two of cups and you've moved on you remember the past you're looking at it but you're not um, depressed about it you're not sad anymore because you've moved on now if you are hooked up then you have 
made plans with your partner and they're coming to to fruition and you're not looking at the past for instance you're not looking at uh, what happened in the lockdown you are also con uh, connecting with more so I think with the energy of cancer you are more connecting with your partner whether you're single you will be connecting most probably with somebody I'll tell you in a minute who it could be so um, you are growing closer together because you've learned from the past and you've taken the cups you perhaps you might have had disagreements with the lockdown and uh, now it's over and done with and you're growing because the two is saying to me getting together you've taken the two of cups and you're compromising um, you have resolved differences you've been thinking about it because you've also got the air and this picture definitely think uh, sees you standing there thinking about how to do things differently so that the boats can come in and come home to a safe haven so you've grown you've definitely grown in the last three to five months in the second week we have the page of Pentacles so it could be a young um, Capricorn because the page of Pentacles represents Capricorn but don't exclude for Virgo or Taurus either so you could be meeting up with them if you are not hooked up so uh, and if you are hooked up then yes um, you are if it is a Capricorn or a Virgo or a Taurus you are growing steadily but slowly towards each other and abundance of love nurturing caring uh, being together like your soulmates you because you are growing closer you're growing your pentacles are steady but slowly and for long term with durability the page of pentacles also means that you will be receiving news and this could be from an earth sign it could also be from the an air sign as you have the night of air so this news will come through text message email or a telephone call and it is going to be fast news unexpected news perhaps because it's so swift boom perhaps you might have been planning a holiday okay and you couldn't in the past and now you're getting big time news that you can go on holiday there's definitely in and that could be in the third week or the second week okay the news now something new is going to, to happen perhaps you might get pregnant on holiday it could also be a small trip it doesn't have to be a holiday but you might be able to take time out because the money is here now and you let's say it's a health spa um, um, residence and you're going for a long weekend away and they're opening up now because everything was also locked down this will revive your um, your relationship it will uh, perhaps induce excitement like spontaneity like the air sign this is the queen of coins and she stands for fertility uh, birth birth of a child or uh, an other form of project this could be work but also more like a new life is this is what I'm getting from this reading so in the third fourth week there will be a new air fresh air brought into your relationship which will bring in more love more understanding more growth because you definitely have two of pen two pentacle uh, cards here and it could be even that you might be getting proposed to that is what I'm feeling something for long term if you're not hooked up and if you are looked up uh, hooked up then <laughs> you this relationship is going on to a next level like the Queen of Pentacles she represents fertility birth growth the word 
growth and something might be blossoming because she also stands for blossoming so you are going to harvest something within your relationship the queen of pentacles is um, Virgo so this could be with specifically with a Virgo okay but don't exclude or a Capricorn but don't exclude Taurus in I or Capricorn none of the air signs but those are the persons that represent the uh, air uh, zodiac sign of the uh, of the Pentacles so Capricorn and Taurus is quite prominent here now we're going to take the first card corner card and that's a lady and the lady stands for nurturing either nurturing yourself or you might fall in if you're not hooked up you might fall in love with a lady okay I'm not going into the numero uh, numerology or the um, what you call cartomacy uh, sign I'm just taking the Lenormand sign so the is going to be a nurturing time perhaps you are going on holiday with a lady or you might be going on holiday yourself if you're not hooked up and you will meet a lady whether you're a woman or a man you might just meet your partner on your holiday wow just let that sink in okay um, like she uh, the queen of pentacles means the ground is fertile to meet somebody it also means that you could be meeting a Virgo or a Virgo on your holiday or this could if you are a lady you and you are a, uh, you love the opposite sex it could be a man with a nurturing an extra nurturing side because female and the queen is highlighted femininity so it could be an extra nurturing side to a man and you've been planning to meet this lady perhaps or go on holiday and make new friends and you are this could be a lady from the past but she's got her hang on a minute she's got her back to it so it could be a lady that uh, you are thinking about from the past or that you've learned a lesson from in the past because she's got the um, her back turned to the past it, this could also be you like I said you are in this moment right now because you're you've been planning and you're seeing your abundance coming in there might be more ladies if you that you might be meeting so you might have a choice something is going to grow and that could be a friendship okay now if you are already hooked up you you have definitely gone forward and perhaps your if you are a lady your your husband or your partner um, might have become more nurturing as you have been planning together This reading is taking a life of its own. <laughs> okay, why? Well, I tell you why. Uh, I I I always stay with the cards uh, in the first instance, and I never look at the cards um, in the first instance that are around it. Because I I said I would just take those three cards to clarify this card, or to take this card and clarify those three now um, it's coming more alive like I said it's taking a time uh, a life of its own you've got the fish and, and I, I opened the reading with you've learned from the past you've turned your back on the past perhaps and you have gone forward okay Th there's always more sides to a card okay or a situation you know your boundaries you're not letting yourself be walked over that means that you're not allowing anybody to boss you about or to dominate you because you are standing up for yourself you've taken the two of cups and you've moved on and you know your boundaries now and you will do it step by step like the earth steins 
you will let others know what your boundaries are so that that is drawing a line an imaginary line in the sand right in front of you there you can go until there and no further respect me and love me and that's clear to a partner and also to other parties perhaps a third party like your friends you are drawing the line and you're saying I'm going out with my loved one tonight and I can't be in the group with the girls today sorry so that is showing your boundary to your friends and your partner but there will be luck in business and what do I know this is not a general reading this is a romance reading perhaps you have a business with your partner if you are hooked up so you will have luck in business but it could also be relationship business okay because a relationship is like a job if especially when you're married then you have the contract but you don't really have to have a piece of paper saying you are officially together if you are together you have also unwritten contracts and that is your heart and your emotions it goes without saying that you should love each other, nurture each other, ex um, respect each other, and know each other's thoughts, thinking, and boundaries. Think like the Gemini, and Libra, and Aquarius. You know how to communicate you are taking Gemini I know we can be very flippant because we think extra fast Wow no, it really goes our minds keep on turning but you know your boundaries you that's what makes your relationship work you are willing to take a step back back to be with your partner to love your partner we fall hook line and sinker sink in love we give our hearts away but we have to take learn to take steps back because otherwise we will burn out you won't have the energy if you keep on charging don't beat the the knight in of shine in shining armor but also know when you have to be the queen sense sensual sexual loving and nurturing and passionate this is oh gemini it's taking a life of its own again this reading it's cracking me up <laughs> okay so you have learned from the past you're moving onwards and you've know you know your boundaries luck is on your side you have strategically planned on getting there right to get to know your boundaries you've done the, th the things that to know your boundaries and you can go at a slower pace even if it kills you but you will grow and there will be blossoming you are picking the fruits this month and you might even get a result like if you would like to get pregnant you will get your baby so long you don't like you know you have to see it as fertile ground when is the ground the most fertile now if you look at farmers you see that they put seeds in the ground they takes time to grow then it they harvest it once everything is harvested they leave the ground to rest we need the balance so you, what you take you must always so put back it's like the Native Americans the Indians or Canadians do when they're farming they let the land rest and rejuvenate so that they can grow again well in this case you have to take your rest and take steps back take your rest so to rejuvenate to make this a relationship for long term and let it grow beautiful now 
if you're not hooked up then you're going to get news you've got the rider or you're going to get a visit a visitor or you might be visiting somebody else I was already going on about holiday and I'm seeing honeymoon here okay so that is a card that is saying you might get a visit from a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus don't exclude Taurus or an other air sign Gemini Libra or an Aquarian you the, uh, he, you might have been planning this and you might have sent the news to them an invitation shall I come and visit you or will you come and visit me good on you to take the first step if that is the case it could be an invitation to a woman or to the man we've got the man here so if you're a man you could meet the lady if you're a lady you could meet the man we've got the couple here so the, there will be a coupling this month this coming month your uh, your uh, relationship is growing steadily but slowly because you know your boundaries and you know their boundaries you know what you want and you know what they want and you are you've learned from the past you're communicating you are business like when you need to be but and you're gorgeous you're strong your steadfastness you are steady you with both feet on the ground like the man but you can also be sexy sensual loving and passionate awesome so um, you might have had the news from him because it's lying ne you might have had the invitation from the from the man it could be a lady that is steadfast and career orientated perhaps now she has made time for you to visit her and now you your plans can come to fruition and grow there is something uh, that it makes it steady now you might be going on holiday it could be a honeymoon it could be a short break and it could feel like a honeymoon so enjoy the bliss of this holiday time together well it is cancer so that is July and usually that is the big school holidays the summer holidays so that sounds really awesome then you have the surrender card surrender your fear of change there you go you have changed and you are in the change so enjoy it the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you are afraid of a change in your job your health or relationship or if you fear aging or death repeat the affirmation I have faith in all um, I have faith that all is well sorry now we have the answer of the angels and if you have been uh, with the back uh, if you have been hooked up and you've got your back against back that you haven't communicated that's how I read the cards okay I think you're going to come together because we've got the man and the woman there will be a peaceful resolution there will be a peaceful resolution you are coming together your boats of love are coming in if you're not hooked up you've been I think looking for the right person and you are um, hooking up because we've got the couple in the reading and we are Gemini so you've been planning to see somebody perhaps that you've had an, your eye on because you're visiting or receiving a visitor perhaps you might have had um, uh, cyber communication and now you're finally meeting them in a neutral place so you're traveling towards um, 
uh, let's say somebody lives in Canada and the other one lives in uh, England and you're flying you're flying the lockdown is over that is what the news is you're traveling and you're meeting each other in a in Midway in New York and you're taking a long weekend I know it's expensive but it has been known to be done so you might be meeting each way on neutral ground because this has got no borders borders water has no borders okay um, and so this says to me you might be meeting on neutral ground so if you have been hook, uh, hooked up and you're not you haven't been talking or if you have not hooked up and you're looking but you have s had cyber connect uh, contact then yes you will come together again you have worked for towards it that's what I'm saying so in some cases it could mean a reconciliation but I have more of a feeling that you have grown towards each other and now you're taking time out to have beautiful passionate sensual time together enjoy the energy of a neutral area like being stuck at home is uh, terrible and in the lockdown and you have the energy of that you have at least I had that that you you had your back against the wall you felt in prison imprisoned although you could go to the supermarket and in some countries you couldn't even let your dog out okay so it felt enclosed now it feels open again and it is refreshing you are refreshing and so are the is the other person and now you can travel you can travel and charge ahead and meet meet each other and meet each other halfway that is what I'm hearing okay Gemini well I hope you've enjoyed this reading and if you are taking a break there will be a peaceful resolution and the peaceful resolution could be that your plans can continue because you might have planned this holiday a long time ago and now it is here you're going you're following your heart well done you've learnt a lot you've matured a lot and you are going steady and slow fantastic great stuff so I hope you like this reading please uh, give me the thumbs up or the channel or the video um, and so make sure that you're number one again and I love you James I really do take care and be blessed